I've been studying a lot of smaller guards lately, so in this video, we're gonna talk about why smaller guards survive in a sport where they aren't supposed to have the advantage. I'm gonna show you some things that I picked up on that most, not all, but most of them have in common. Today, we're gonna focus mainly on a few players. Isaiah Thomas, Kimball Walker, and a high school guard that I've been looking at, Chris Likes. So that my YouTube channel doesn't get shut down, I won't use any college players in this video. But Isaiah mainly because he's right behind Russ and Harden in the MVP run. Now there's a lot that I can cover that I feel like they have in common with a lot of good guards. But I'll just cover a few. So if you're on the path of trying to get to this level, you'll know exactly what to work on. First up is their toughness, their demeanor, their confidence. They aren't afraid. I notice a lot of smaller players who are actually nice, they have a certain confidence about them. Something that you may be familiar with from YouTube is Kiwi Gardner, Kill Carr, Jerome Randall, Trey Jefferson, Marcus LeVette, Chase Adams, and that's just to name a few. You'll see the same look and swag on a lot of them. Think about it. How many swagless smaller guards have you seen with no confidence kill on the court? And remember, confidence doesn't always have to be loud. It may take you a while to figure that out. This type of confidence, you don't just get it. It comes with experience. It's a lifestyle type of thing that begins early for most. Second on the list is these smaller players, they're shifty. Most of them can change speeds after hesitating at a pace that most players can't keep up with. Now Isaiah, he's been doing like three or four moves all season. He's more quick than lightning fast, which Kimba is definitely lightning fast. But pay attention to how low these guys get when they're actually going by the defender. And for the bigger defenders, it's much harder to guard someone when they get this low in the game when you aren't supposed to hand check. To go with the shifting, they get to the cup and finish. What a lot of them have in common is they aren't afraid to get to the basket. They go up with the tallest players. One thing that I've noticed from Isaiah's is underhanded layups. Now I'm not gonna tell you that this is what every guard has to have. This video is just about observations. And almost every layup I see him make is underhanded. Not all of them though. Another thing to take a look at is how he uses his body to shield the defender. No fouls again. Thomas the drive, McCollum is there and he still gets it to go. For Isaiah, I think his strength is one of his biggest advantages. You don't do a lot of this type of stuff if you aren't strong. Now even though these guards get to the cup, you have to understand that the closer you get to the basket, the longer the arms will be. And if you understand that, it'll save you from a lot of dumb turnovers. To complement everything that we talked about, and this is probably the biggest key, is they can shoot the ball, which stretches the floor out and opens up lanes to get to the basket especially against good defense. But let's look at this real close. Catch and shoot for Kemba and Isaiah really stand out to me more than any of the guys that I have on my list. Take a look at the movement in their upper body, from their shoulders to their waist. It's really not much movement at all, and it just seems like they're balanced so well. The idea in my head would be to limit movement as much as possible, and they seem to do it often. Think about standing still, holding the gun, and trying to shoot a target versus trying to hit that target while in a moving car. I think both of these guys do a great job when they catch and shoot of balancing out as quickly as possible and not drifting left or right. Now this next thing is a little controversial, but I'm pretty sold on it after a little research. Take a look at how high these guys jump on their shot. I think that jumping like this opens up a whole different tier of moves and things you could do along with being able to shoot when closer to a defender. But wait, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you have to jump this high to be able to shoot well, because that's not true. Think of guys like Steph Curry, who really doesn't jump high on the shot, particularly catch and shoot. But I think him not doing that allows him to shoot further with ease, opposed to if you jumped a lot on your shot. But think about isolated situations. I want you to imagine Thomas shooting this shot without jumping. You probably get a block, right? To get that shot off at that height, my guess is he would probably have to move further back which then would stretch the defense out away from the basket. But my point is, I think that the way that these guys jump 
allow them to get their shot off when they're closer to the defenders. And to add to this, I can't name any players, even Steph, that consistently don't jump on their mid-range pull-up when being guarded tightly. I can't even imagine how it would look. Isaiah really does a good job of picking spots in the mid-range and raising up on balance. Now everything we talked about, these guys combine it all into their pick and roll play. This is the key for smaller guards. We talked about their shiftiness. They actually shake defenders really bad on screen. It's tough when you know you have to guard a player like this, but it adds another element when you could potentially run into a screen or step on that screener's foot. This is what the guards of today are good at, Isaiah in particular. If you go under screens, that's it, he'll shoot it. You have to stay attached to his hip. I'm surprised he doesn't get doubled off the picks more because of this. If the hedge man doesn't step up, he will shoot it. If you're worried about the screen and not about him, he will shoot it. It's a tough cover. Same goes for Kimba. He shoots so well that it makes the hedge man run out hard. And he sort of masters splitting the picks. Pay attention to how low he rolls the ball to where the defense can't reach it. Just something to take note of. Another thing you'll see both of them do is a shot hazy. As I stated, they can shoot. So the slightest look at the basket, hand towards the ball, changes speeds, and they beat you. Often the second line of defense. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh. how quick is that? Oh, my goodness. Wow. So take it how you want. Just some things that I've noticed. I know some of you want to learn how to do the half spin, maybe the step back. But these guys are dominating really just off of pick and rolls, catch and shoot, and just having heart. We'll go over that other stuff later. Anyways, that's it for now. In March, we're picking it back up. If you want more, be sure to like the videos and subscribe to our channel. And also follow In The Lab Lifestyle. We're getting things going on that channel also. Stay tuned in next time.